Oh, it's just a, it's a huge game. It's a crosstown rivalry. It's just uh, everybody's here. From we know everybody. I play basketball with Sam Merrill and Tanner Redding. I love those guys. But it's just it just brings that much more intensity to the game, and it was a great win for us. Absolutely. I mean, you guys got them two years in a row. It's got to feel really, really good. I mean, because they've been pretty much dominating you guys for the past, you know, yeah. few, you know, like what, 20 years? Yeah, they, it's been. They had a 23-year win streak, and we knocked that off last year. And it's just that much sweeter to come into their homecoming and beat them, at, beat them on their field for the second straight year. It's just a surreal feeling. I love it. It was great. You guys jumped all over them from the beginning, guys. Yeah. Talk about that that big pathway at the beginning. Oh, that was just. I mean. That was my friend Clay Kidman throwing that, and that was just a huge get. We knew that their corners were going to bite on that route, out route, and Zakiel Harry made a great catch for the touchdown. It was awesome. Also, that big run back uh, by number 25, I, oh, I don't yeah. have the roster. That seemed to be the, the really big uh, stamp mark uh, for you guys going on, going ahead and winning this game. Yeah, absolutely. Brandon Kinsey, just a playmaker, absolutely, and just got it and went. It was a huge, it was a huge momentum shift for us. What did you find out about your guys' team tonight? I found out that we can do whatever it takes to win. You know, I we we have we got a few guys out. Our star running back Morris Brown was out, and we just had guys step up and just and it all came together for a win. It was just a great night. Going forward, what can we expect from uh, from uh, Woods Cross uh, for the rest of the year in region play? Big things, big things. We got a big one against Highland next week, and that's what that's where our focus will be. So. We'll be